Welcome back to the channel. My name is O.A. Alabisi Abimbola. With me, I have a very special guest, my supreme leader, the best Igbo singer I know. <laughs> Actually, I mean, that I know. That is correct. Super, it's not that one. It's supreme leader. Which one is supreme leader? Tell, Which one is supreme tell leader? Tell them your name. You guys, it's one in you below. Let me go into it. My name mm -hmm. is, if it wasn't my name, sir. <laughs> My name is Ugochi, aka Mwanama, aka Achalugo, aka Obelensi Nemebiki, aka Adano Siki. Should I go on? No, let me stop there. My name is Ugochi, and I'm excited to be here. I'm a beautiful girl. Per. Okay, so Ugochi, what do you do for the people that don't know? I spread happiness and joy. <laughs> No, I'm a singer. I'm an entertainer. Spread happiness and joy. I like that actually. I think that's a very good job description. Thank what do you, you do? I spread happiness and joy. I was interested. Yes. All right, so the very first time I knew you was from a video from Close for the Day. You know, need to big in money before you help another person. And um, so the best of my understanding, close for the day is a thing where you go to a petty trader you buy them off for that day and then you have them to distribute what they are selling to yeah. other people that may or may not be able to afford it. So Man. how did you guys start close for the day? Uh if you if you check the Instagram you see like it's been on like since two thousand nineteen. Like close for the day has been on for a very long time. Okay. There was actually a manager that started it. His name is Joseph. Jay. Yes Jay Colin Jay. And um I feel like it was an amazing idea, you know, the thought of having to close people just for the day, buy out all their words. We, we, we focus on petty traders and um, hawkers. Okay. So we'll buy out everything they're selling for that day, just that day. Uh -huh. So it's encouraging hard work. We're saying rest today, gather momentum, come back tomorrow. It's not encouraging laziness. Come back tomorrow and continue your business and then share it to other people because that's the way they feel say, oh, more, it's easy for me to buy. Even something as simple as bottled water. It gets some people, we no get 100 naira, we no fear for them. So if you buy out what that bottle seller is selling for that day and then have him give to other people, you've given someone else the opportunity to drink bottled water for that, day. that they could not have afforded. What was it like before you came into the spotlight? What did you used to do? I used to be a radio girl. Oh, what station? Do you know the that station? Was, no, that was, I don't think you know it, but some people know. When I used to be, I too talk. When my course, I got you to know back in the days. 2019, I was doing radio. No, 2018. Yeah, 2018, I was doing radio in um, Omega Radio, Omega FM yes, in Anambra. Anambra, so yes. were you singing then too? I used to put out my small, small covers once in a while, like, you understand. But me. you didn't have like official singles and stuff? No, no, no. Oh, that's, that's very, actually very impressive, which means you didn't start music as a career since like, you were like 20, no. like no. said ish Yes, yes. Wow, I mean, like, you've come a long way in two years. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sure, sure. Okay, so what is hot process whenever you want to put out like maybe these covers or whenever you want to write music or Do you really like me? Cause go be jalam. Am I the love of your life or you're looking for a girl that you want to defy? Every day be a bim, big or rice in a kego. I like to tell stories with my music. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Y
I don't know who that is, but I know that it won't be shown that they make a no. Emekas don't even, Emekas are shy people. Forget the stereotype. They don't get hurt. People where they answer Emeka, they don't get liver. They don't service her breakfast. Please, people should not come for me. But anyways, the person that served me breakfast, I refuse to mention his name. So but he was served in the most brutal way that I can never, ever, ever, ever forget in this my life. Wow. But it's well. Wow. But I sing my pain away. You know? has, it been, has it been long? Yeah, it's been a while. But you know, stuff like this is actually very hard to get over because it sticks somehow. Yeah, I mean, people always say that like cheating is not good because like you can leave the person thinking they are not enough because they keep wondering like why what did I do? Yeah. It, de it depends. I'm not saying the person cheated on you. It depends. It gets as person go take leave you. Hmm. You'll be left wondering. But it gets as person go take leave you. You go not say okay, this person left. So mine is a case of left wondering but we are back on track now come on yes, see the sir. set yes, sir we're late <laughs> we're late them and nothing is happening <laughs> you always knew you wanted to do music mm, i'd say yes because growing up my dad would always tell me like how i used to remix all my nursery rhymes i'll come back from school if they are saying hey so apple i want to sing my own in my own way so yeah i think i've always been like music 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 from church Everything has been music for me, so yes. What do you think about Igbo music in Nigeria currently, and where do you think it is headed? Um, I think it's headed in the right direction. You know, we have amazing people out there that are taking, you know, indigenous Igbo sounds to indigenous sounds, particularly Igbo music, to the world. You know, big shout out to men like Fino, Flavor, Larry Gaga. You know, they're just doing an amazing job with promoting the um, Igbo culture. And, you know, that's that's what I'm trying to, to be as well. But this one is not just about promoting the Igbo culture. For me, it's doing what I'm comfortable in. You know, a lot of people don't get that. I always want to be like, oh, why are you using? But this is what I'm comfortable doing. Like, this is where I, I can reach into myself and dig out stuff. Oh. You know, yeah, that's me. Deep, deep, that's deep, deep, deep. Yes, so. Do you enjoy being Igbo? With, with all my heart. Like, in my next world, next world, next world, I still want to be an Igbo girl. <laughs> so what exactly do you enjoy the most about being Igbo? Ah, the songs, okay. the culture, the food. And you know, uh, for the food, I'm going to agree because I'm sorry to what to what my CV. you are what my CV. I, I think personally, I think that Igbo people have really amazing soups. Yes. Like, do you think if you were singing just in mm. English, you would have gone further than you are currently? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. There's so many. The thing is, there's the, the people don't understand the beauty in being diverse, the beauty in your indigenousity. I listen to lots of indigenous acts. And I'm not just talking about in Nigeria. I'm yeah. talking about people that sing in Spanish. Yeah, you're very right, because I do that too. I listen yeah. to South African songs. What are you? I listen to yes, and I enjoy... Apple music, Spain, you, Apple music. Bro, and I don't speak their language. Bro, right. you don't need to speak someone's language to actually enjoy what they're doing. The joy is in the rhythm, it's in the melody. Okay. I listen to acts like Strome. I listen to Master KG. You know, this amazing... Bro, 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 bro. Yeah, I listen to you this... You know ball, you know ball. Yeah, I listen to all this, you know, so... I don't think it's it's a thing. I did. Do you really like me? And the whole world is saying because school PJ. You understand? Hey, do you understand? So it's just there's beauty in just being yourself. Yeah. So I don't think it's drawback these days. If you have the right resources, you can push. As long as it's good music, you can push it for everybody to hear. That's that's how I feel. So in in due time, like you mentioned, you said, and I quote. I'm tired of catching flowers oh, God. myself. I won't be the bride. Oh, God. Are you trying to tell your romantic <laughs> partner something? <laughs> because you said that your songs are from the street, okay. from your experience. Oh, so is there somebody you're trying to tell best, something? Best no fit tell you or, something in peace. Or is there somebody you're trying to tell something? Or what's going on? Due time, due time. When that particular line was not about like married you. Okay, you okay. so even if I agree, <laughs> which I don't that it's not about marriage okay so what are your own thoughts about marriage like you see yourself as a married person is it something that's for you do you think you would enjoy it yes I think I will I think I will enjoy it and I I, want, I, I grew up in a family where there was love do you understand and I enjoyed what my parents shared you know God bless my mom forever and ever amen, amen. Uh, so I want to, I want to, you know, experience that as well. I want to experience 
the love in a family. I want to have my own kids and all of that. But not now. They don't want their sets. Never say it. <laughs> I never said to, so I'm not ready yet, 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 yet for marriage, but I love the whole idea of marriage. I feel like it's an amazing union that's to be cherished, it's, you know, so I want to get married. All right, so guys, um, I, feel, I, I, I think that this is where we're going to stop in this particular episode. Um, <laughs> it's been fun having my supreme leader over here. Uh, I know you guys are going to see uh, Supreme leader, they will think I get money. You guys are going to see her soon on all your screens, TVs and all. Yes. Wash out. See you in the next video.